Hi, I'm Katie Stiles with Before and After TV. A lot of people nowadays are eating veggie burgers as an alternative to a beef burger. Even people that are meat eaters are now choosing veggie burgers. You can buy them in the produce store in the frozen aisle and also order them at a restaurant. The one thing with the store-bought veggie burger is that they are high in sodium and they do tend to have a lot more preservatives in them. It's something that people often don't think of to make at home. And Holly here is going to show us how you can make at home a very delicious, quite simple recipe called the Walnut Lentil Veggie Burger. And she's going to show us the ingredients and how to prepare it. So let's get started, Holly. Okay. okay. We're starting out with some lentils. Yep. Now you've pureed the lentils. Mm -hmm. And they are canned lentils? Canned lentils. Yes. Okay. And drained and pureed. And then next we're going to add the walnuts. Okay. They're pre-toasted in the oven. Okay. Um, there's about a cup of walnuts in with the two cans of lentils, which is about, uh, about four and a half cups of lentils. And then I'm going to do two eggs. Just scramble them a bit. Add those to the lentils and the walnut. And then uh, about a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon and a half, about two teaspoons of cumin, about two teaspoons of mustard. Okay, next you want to add um, a lot of garlic, about uh, 12 cloves minced, um, and then about a cup and a half of onion. And that's all diced? Yeah, about diced or finely minced, depending finely on how minced. you like the, okay. like the onion. And then what we like next is um, some wheat germ. Wheat germ acts as a binder. Okay, so that's sort of your, your filler for yeah, it. Binds kind of everything filler. together. And you can do breadcrumbs, but wheat germ is really nice because it has a lot of protein, so extra nutritional value. Okay. So about a cup of wheat germ. Give that a little toss. Like mm, it smells delicious. So now you want to add um, about three quarters a cup of milk. Okay. Now, could you um, substitute the milk with anything else? Yeah, I've used um, homogenized cow milk. Okay. Um, but you can use rice milk. Okay. Or soy milk. Soy milk will work as yeah, well. Depending okay. on your dietary preference. So the milk just adds actually a softness to the burger, um, creates that crispy outside, and then the softness in the middle, like a beef or chicken or turkey burger. Okay. And then you want to add about um, two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, I just kind of eyeball it. And the olive oil just gives it that kind of fattiness that you're missing in the in the with the meat. meat, meat okay, burger. that I'm sure helps with the cooking process. Definitely the cooking process, okay. the non-sticking process of the burger when you're frying it, um, and just the binding of the burger. And then the finishing touches, of course, are always a little bit of salt, just a grind of some fresh cracked. Black pepper okay. um, always adds definitely a beautiful zing. And then you just want to mix it up until all the ingredients. So now we have everything, all of our ingredients, mm -hmm. and now it's time to form the burgers. Yeah. So I just take a spoonful of ingredients, um, the burger mixture, and just kind of roll it in my hand like a snowball. Okay. And then just pat it down. Looks like about the size of a tennis ball. About the size of a tennis ball. Okay. And then you just flatten it and just put on some wax paper so it doesn't stick while informing the other patties. So you just put a, a couple tablespoons of oil in a hot <coughs> skillet. And take one, place in the oil. So you want to make sure your skillet's quite hot. You can hear the veggie burger sizzling. And about three to four minutes on the first side. After four minutes, you want to flip the veggie burger. Cook it for another three to four minutes on the other side. That's great. And the aroma is delicious. Mm -hmm. So from here, Holly, I guess you can just top it with your favorite toppings. Cheese, tomato, and some pickle. And I guess you could even use sauteed mushrooms, sauteed onions, and whatever you like. Anything you want. Yeah. yeah. So there you have it, a super nutritional meal, uh, a walnut lentil veggie burger. Really easy to make yourself at home. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Holly. It smells delicious. I can't wait to take a bite, if that's okay. Of course. And, oh, it smells so good. Mm, that is delicious. Thank you very much. You're welcome.